Yeah. Yeah, but um, yeah, you just watch out for your pets. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the bus stop forecast. Kiddos that must have the Renko. Uh, they could put it on just in case. You know, most of us are probably not going to get the showers, but at this moment, if you're anywhere between Jensen Beach and down through Stewart, you're dealing with some of the rain, and we could have, again, showers developing. A few have developed offshore, off the Atlantic, moving onshore, but then a few have come from the west. So besides that, it is a muggy star. You really don't need a sweater. Temperatures are in the 70s for the most part, upper 60s inland, and also a lot of cloud cover out there. Winds are pretty light, but the flow out of the southeast. Now in Fort Pierce, we're getting some light drizzles too. Uh, the rain in Stewart are kind of pushing away. It's still over Sailfish Point and Stewart Beach, but uh, that rain is pretty light. It was a little heavier earlier. Also, the rain has ended for you in Tequesta, but if you're driving northward, you're going going to run into at least some light rainfall. Look at this heavy rainfall that's uh, moving through the Ohio Valley down into the south. And this is out ahead of a front, a front that's coming our way, but not until later Monday. So out ahead of it, we're heating things up, especially because winds are turning southerly by Sunday out of the southwest. Highs today above average, low to mid 80s. In fact, Wellington, Boca, Indian Town could hit 85 degrees for the high today. What a change. And you know what? For the weekend, it gets hotter. In fact, Sunday's forecast high of 87 degrees. That's the forecast high for West Palm Beach. That's actually the record. So we could tie a record high on Sunday. You know, given the time of the year, these records tend to be in those upper 80. So it's not going to be too hard to get your record heat this weekend, along with the humidity. The surf today, two to three feet. It's probably going to stick around like that throughout the weekend with a moderate rip current risk. Moderate drop for inland waterways. Those winds east, southeast, 10 to 15 knots. No advisories for boaters, but you know, now that we have that flow out of the east, it tends to make uh, the Gulf Stream a little bit choppy out there. It's going to stay like that through the weekend. Front comes in Monday later.